tutorial we'll dye cotton fabric with logwood chips. The heartwood of the logwood tree produces beautiful shades from red purple to orchid blues. Using mordants and additives, you can push the color to shades of brown, blue, navy, and even black. The logwood tree, Hematoxylum campechanum, grows in Mexico, Central America, the Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Brazil, the Guyanas, Madagascar, and India. It's been a valued dye since the 16th century. Logwood is color fast, but is only moderately light fast. To improve light fastness, Myowa recommends adding a bit of iron to the dye bath. Rusty nails are similar. For this project, you'll need basic dye equipment and a well-ventilated workspace. You need a soaking pot, a dye pot, a heat source, and a candy thermometer to keep the dye bath at a consistent temperature. You need strainers and a jar in which to store the decanted liquor. You'll also need 46.2 grams logwood chips, a gallon of water, and prepared cotton fabric. For safety, wear gloves and a face mask when working with logwood, and rubber gloves when working with soda ash, which is caustic. Our weight of fabric is 308 grams. This includes four cotton dish towels. Fabric should be scoured and mordanted. We use a gallnut mordant followed by a bath of 15% WOF alum and 8% soda ash as a brightener. Logwood dyes best in hard water, so I'm adding a single antacid tablet. Logwood is not considered light fast, but I'm not adding iron for this project. I want to see how much fading actually occurs. According to Maiwa, use 10 to 15% WOF for logwood. For 308 grams of fabric, 15% would be 46.2 grams of logwood. I purchased logwood from Maiwa Textiles in Vancouver, Canada. Logwood comes with strong warnings that it can cause serious skin, eye, or respiratory irritation. First, let's extract the dye. The basic process for Maiwa. Pour enough boiling water over the logwood to make a dye bath. Soak overnight. Pour off this liquid and use for the dye bath. Let's get started. Boil about a gallon of water, enough for the dye bath. I'm using tap water. Measure out the logwood chips and add to the dye pan. Pour the boiling water over the logwood to make the dye bath. Color is released immediately. Note that logwood does well with hard water. Most dyes do not. If your water is soft, you can add calcium carbonate in the form of finely ground chalk or an anti-acid tablet, such as Tums or Rolades. Also, soda ash, ammonia, or wood ash water can push up the pH. Our tap water is mildly acid, pH 6. I'm adding one anti-acid tablet. Let's soak overnight. The next day, pour off this liquid and use for the first and strongest dye bath. I'm straining it through cheesecloth and a strainer to remove the pulp from the dye. The resulting liquor is deep red purple. Keep the pulp. You can soak the logwood chips again and use the second extract for lighter shades. Repeat until no more color can be extracted. I'm freezing mine for later use. Next, we'll dye the fabric. The basic process from Dharma Bring dye bath to a simmer. Add wet fabric and simmer for an hour. Allow to cool in dye bath. Rinse and hang to dry. Pre-soak your prepared fabric in a bucket to ensure the fibers absorb as much color as possible. I soaked the towels overnight in an alum soda ash bath and then added the towels without rinsing. Pour the strained logwood dye into the dye pan. I have about a gallon, which should be plenty for four dish towels. I can always add more water as needed. Bring dye bath to a simmer. Add wet fabric. Stir to loosen the fabric. Add additional water to cover if needed. Simmer fabric for an hour, keeping the temperature between 170 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Continue to stir periodically for even dyeing, turning the fabric frequently while simmering. Turn off the heat and let the pan cool, leaving the dish towels in the dye bath. Maiwa gives contradictory information about the benefits of soaking logwood overnight in the dye bath. One citation recommends, another does not. Since I love saturated color, I decided to soak overnight as I usually do and then decide for myself. Squeeze out excess dye from the dish towels, but save the dye bath. 
Rinse the dish towels in cool water until the water runs clear. This can take a lot of time and water for these strong colors. I use a combination of agitating the fabric in a bucket and rinsing under running water. Run the dish towels through the washing machines, rinse and spin cycles without soap. Let the towels air dry. In a couple of weeks, run the towels through the washing machine using scissor pollen and rinse. Include a piece of white cloth to test color fastness. Air dry again. Preserve the dye in glass jars to use in future projects. The dye color may be less intense, but it is still usable, either for a lighter shade or mixed with another color. Logwood can be used in combination with other dyes, such as osage, fustic, cochineal, cooch, and indigo. Adding iron can produce shades of gray or black. As always, there are more opportunities ahead for experimenting.